firstly just step back and consider what sort of case this is. And Ukraine is a very easy case uh, for the EU to have acted on. You know, this direct and deliberate aggression on the borders, essentially, of some member states. The West is united. We're singing from the same hymn sheet as the United States. We're all pointing in the same direction. So if the EU hadn't done well in this case, you'd have to ask yourself, in what conceivable circumstances could the EU ever do well? And I think the EU has performed well. I mean, given that caveat that it should have, it has performed rather well. Uh, and I think that applies on several levels. Firstly, in terms of all the things Susie's been saying about the EU's own institutional responses, which have been impressive and which have been prompt. Secondly, and I think as if not more important, the way individual member states have responded. I mean, if you just think about what's happened to defence spending in member states, German defence spending went up almost 2.5% in 2022 from the year before. Finnish defence spending went up 36%. So quite often European defence initiatives serve as a shield to hide a lack of action where it really matters in national capitals. This time that has not been the case. You've had the tremendous shift in Swedish and Finnish defence doctrine with NATO. So, you know, so far so good has to be the answer, I think. It's, I mean, again, in terms of context, it's worth saying that a lot of the action in terms of coordination has happened in fora like the G7 and the Quad. So it's not all been about the EU, but insofar as the EU has been involved, it has passed what is a relatively simple test to date. What, whether this is a new departure, there's two things. As Susie said, enlargement is clearly something that is going to haunt the debates for the medium to long term now. The other thing I would put my finger on as being a, a substantively new department is the increased engagement of the Commission on matters relating to defence and particular expenditure to do with defence, which is a wholly new departure 